So as we told you tonight, Nova Scotia's university students are getting some relief from the highest tuitions in the country. The government is giving the universities enough money to freeze tuitions for the next three years while handing the students a bursary to help them pay for their tuition. It starts at $761 this year and then grows to $1,200 by 2010. And it is for Nova Scotia students only. Students who come from outside the province will get a small bursary, but not until later in the program. Well, joining us tonight to discuss these changes is Nova Scotia's Minister of Education, the Honorable Karen Casey, and the President of the Dalhousie Student Union, Mike Tipping. And we're glad to have the two of you join us tonight. Thank you very much, indeed. Thank you for having uh, us. Minister Casey, uh, I've been reviewing the Conservative Party platform from the last provincial election, and I wonder, uh, in your view, how close does what you're doing today come to the promise contained in the platform to lower tuitions in Nova Scotia to the national average by the year 2010? Well, I, th I think it uh, is a really uh, a very big and a very positive step, Steve. Uh, we made a commitment to make uh, university education in our province more affordable. And uh, to do that, we looked at a number of uh, initiatives. We wanted to bring it to the national average. We recognized that we were uh, highest in the, in the country, I think, at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, so wanted to take some positive steps to, to reach that. Does this do that? Does this take Nova Scotia tuition to the national average by 2010? This will bring uh, tuition in Nova Scotia for Nova Scotia students to the national average by 2010-2011. Does that assume that the national average continues to increase? We, we had some assumptions. We had an assumption that the national average would increase, and we used that as part of our calculations. So if other provinces freeze tuitions, as New Brunswick has done for this fiscal year, yes. and if other provinces were to do the same, then Nova Scotia could still have tuition above the national average by 2010. We have to watch and see what happens in the others, but based on the data that we had at the time, uh, we'd made our calculations. Uh, in the last campaign, you promised that you were going to lower tuition. This doesn't actually perpetually lower tuition, does it? does two things. We have the Memorandum of Understanding, which freezes tuition, and then we have the student bursary, which lowers tuition. So we believe that we are doing both. But what happens after the bursary program is over? Well, we have a three-year three Memorandum of Understanding, and what we're looking at is chunks of three years, because mm -hmm. for the next three years, our funding to universities is uh, sustainable, predictable. Our uh, students are, know what their tuition is going to be. They know it can't be increased, and then we've taken the steps to lower it. So uh, we're, we're happy that we have something in place for three years, and we'll have to review that. It's an ongoing process. But again, and to be quite literal about it, you have not lowered tuition. Yes, we have lowered tuition. We have lowered tuition because we have we have given students bursaries which they can use towards their tuition. You're You've looking, lowered the cost to the student, but you right. haven't lowered the posted tuition. Uh, you're price. going to uh, to a, a question that was raised today in the uh, in the uh, release, and that was. Uh, our university is going to print a lower tuition in their calendar. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Travis from Dalhousie spoke to that. Uh, every program in every university has a different tuition, whether it's art, science, medicine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there are 11 of those. So to make sure that we were able to lower the tuitions for all programs in all universities would have been very complex. Okay. This way, we're providing the, the aid directly to the students. All right, let's get Mr. Tipping's view of this as one of those students. How close do you think Minister Casey has come to doing what the government said it was going to do for sure. the students of Nova Scotia? Well, if you look in the document in front of you there, the, the Progressive Conservative Platform, uh, it says an uh, investment in uh, lowering tuition of $36.5 million each year for four years. Now, this isn't quite that, um, but it is getting a long way towards making university more affordable in, in Nova Scotia. We have some problems with it, but it's... What problems do you have with it, Mike? <laughs> um, well, first of all, let's talk about what students are facing in Nova Scotia. We're facing the highest tuitions in the country. Uh -huh. We're facing no provincially funded uh, grants for students um, based on need, and we're facing... Uh, actually the highest burden on students of any state or province in North America. But you would have to admit that Minister Casey has reduced that burden considerably. Absolutely. And you're going to have an, a tuition in 2010, 2011 that is in, you know, 28 dollars. So that is an effective freeze on tuition plus the bursary. So that is lightening the load. Right. And it's lightening the load for students that are from Nova Scotia. Right. Unfortunately, students that move to Nova Scotia, and these are students that we want to keep in Nova Scotia, are still facing uh, that highest tuition. And it, especially when we're looking at fields like health care, where we want those nurses to stay in Nova Scotia, it's a real problem. But why should the taxpayers of Nova Scotia be subsidizing students who come 
from other provinces to study in Nova Scotia. Why would that be Minister Casey's job? Well, it's the job of the government to have a vision for the future of Nova Scotia. And when you look at the demographics of Nova Scotia, if we don't keep these skilled graduates in the province, we're going to have a province of people over the age of 65. Uh -huh. But by the same token, the, the government of Nova Scotia's first obligation is to its own students. So w is there an obligation on the taxpayers of Nova Scotia to say to a student from Alberta or Saskatchewan or Ontario, we're going to give you some more money? Well, I think there's, there's an obligation on the government of the province to make sure the province survives. And a big part of that is investing in the Well, future. what about, that's a, that's, a, that's a very good point. <laughs> what about that? I mean, sure, th you could argue that it isn't the duty of your government to fund students from other provinces. By the same token, Nova Scotia is trying to attract people from other provinces, and this might be a good way to do it. Why not do it that way? Well, I, let me just uh, address that, Steve. Uh, we... We value and appreciate the students from outside of Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. uh, on an average, 31% of the students in our universities are from out of province. That's important to the economy of this province. Mm -hmm. Survey done, I think it was in 2003, said that students, 21% of those students who do come from out of province stay. So all of those are significant factors, and we have to consider that. However, I do want to make a point. Sure. Our funding, our federal funding, is on a per capita basis, mm -hmm. and that's what helped us identify our students as a priority. But what about the optics of creating two classes of students, those who are and those who are not Nova Scotian? One of the things that we did in the announcement today was to make sure we know there will be a differential, mm -hmm. but we wanted to make sure that that didn't continue to grow and grow and grow. So... The Memorandum of Understanding, which freezes tuition, freezes it for all students, whether they're from Nova Scotia, Ontario, or China. What about that, Mr. Tipping? This is a universal freeze yeah. for everybody. And that's a great thing. And the other thing we like about this is that it's multi-year, so mm -hmm. students can plan a bit ahead. Um, but what we really need is a vision for post-secondary education for the next 10 years. And that's what we really need to see from government is how they're going to deal with the fourth year of the new funding formula where certain institutions are looking at problems, how we're looking at building a knowledge economy in Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. and how we're making sure that we support... Um, I mean, Nova Scotia doesn't have much oil left. We have 11 universities and 13 community colleges, and that's what we should be investing in. Are you sure you can afford to do this, by the way? What, what we announced today? Yeah. Absolutely. We can't afford to not do it. I think you might both agree on that. We do. We agree. I want to just make another comment. Okay. We work we really closely seconds. together. Uh, uh, Mike's group, Mike's union group, and, and our government, I've met with them many times. We recognize that we have a, uh, an issue. We're addressing it. Mm -hmm. We're a lot closer to where we want to be than we were two years ago, and uh, we're going to continue to work together and to look at what reviews we need and what we can make happen for all of our students. Do you agree with that? And we're going to make sure we help government to get there. So. Well, this is the friendliest I've heard it in a while between government <laughs> and students. Appreciate your coming. Mike Thank Tipping, you. Dallas Student Union, Education Minister Karen Casey.